My name is Kayla Janice and I live in Montreal running the Blue Sunshine Psychotronic Film Centre with my partner Dave Bertrand and uh, this is the interior of Blue Sunshine during the day. It looks very different at night um, but we've got a poster for Streets of Fire, my favourite movie. Um, we've got about 47 seats set up um, in here. We have screenings every Thursday, Friday and Saturday and it's a private film club so people have to join and become members and fill out a membership form to be able to attend the films because uh, a lot of the films we play are by independent filmmakers and maybe they haven't been rated in Quebec yet and so um, legally you can't just be a pub member of the public and come in and see a film. You have to get a membership. Um, and yeah, so we, we basically just show films here and try to create an atmosphere that's kind of social and where people often end up discussing the films afterwards. We have pre-show content on the screen before the films. We often will have introductions from filmmakers, whether they're here in person or sometimes they will film them or write them, you know, that we can read out to the audience. Um, we've had all kinds of special things happen here. It's been really, we've been around for about a year since June of 2010 and uh, we've had um, Kimmy Robertson from Twin Peaks come here. We've had uh, George Mahalka who made My Bloody Valentine and Pinball Summer came here. Robert Moran came here for screenings of uh, Petit Pau Pau Noel and um, one of his short films. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a really cool little space in terms of you know, a lot of directors and stuff really like the intimacy of it. It's not really a great commercial opportunity for them to show a film here, but a lot of them really like being in such a small space with the fans and talking to them and stuff like that. And, uh, and actually, our place is called Blue Sunshine. It's named after the film Blue Sunshine, which is a cult horror film from the 70s. And the director of that film, Jeff Lieberman, actually came here as well for our one year anniversary and we showed Blue Sunshine. So that was pretty special. Um, but yeah, this is the main kind of theater space where we show the films and uh, as you can see, it's a loft. I mean, this is just a converted loft. It's not a real movie theater. Um, it's got fairly low ceilings and stuff like that, but this is where we live. My, my business partner and I, Dave Bertrand, he, we both live on the other side of the screen. Um, there are more rooms back there. and. Uh, and so this is basically our living room. We don't really have a living room other than this. So when we watch movies, it tends to be here. And um, yeah, we've got a working fireplace and uh, stereo, books, all kinds of stuff. And then around, the, uh, actually behind you here is the projection booth, which is the, my favorite room in the house. Um, it's, uh, it's equipped with 16 millimeter, and the 16 millimeter projector comes courtesy of Le Cine Club, the film society, which is a local film society. It's been around here for decades, but um, they lent us the 16 millimeter equipment to use for, the, for here. We also have um, beta SP, DV cam, VHS, multi-region DVD, um, stuff like that. So we're like fairly professional in terms of our presentation capabilities. And uh, the little concession area, people come back here and they get um, hot dogs and stuff like that. And then we have a fire escape at the back where people go if they want to smoke or if there's a fire. And uh, yeah, so my board games at the back, I collect old board games. Um, and yeah, basically we just try to keep the place full of tons of uh, whatever our personal kind of junk is that we don't get a chance to you know, share with people that much, we get to do it here, you know, like just by the fact that this is all our home and our business at the same time, we get to have like a lot of our personality kind of on display to share with people, which is really fun. It's better than hoarding like most collectors are have to do. So I feel like a lot of the stuff I've ever done in my life has all, it all started when I was little. I was already doing versions of these things then, you know. I used to write obsessive fan letters. I must have written hundreds of fan letters to celebrities I liked. And now, when I started doing film events, I'm kind of doing the same thing with emails, you know, just like 
Instead of fan letters, I'm inviting them to be to participate in screenings or to attend screenings or be interviewed for a magazine article or whatever, but that's essentially just an extension of when I was a kid writing fan letters. You know?